Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to give a general reading for my water signs. That is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And um, as I say, these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone, so please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. And if you know your moon, your rising, or your Venus, you can always check those out. They will all be linked in the description box below. But in the meantime, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. It really does help the algorithms, helps me to get seen by those that may need to see the messages. And it doesn't cost you anything, but it means the absolute world to me. And if you hit that little wiggly bell, you'll be notified of all the new videos that I upload, um, including my new series that I will be doing on here which is very exciting so uh, do have a look out I will be doing a video to um, give you uh, a insight into what's coming in the new year for you all but in the meantime what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a card for Cancer for Scorpio and for um, Pisces to give you your overarching energy for the month and then we'll get into the reading and you'll see how it relates as we go through Okay, so Cancer, January 2022. 2022, gosh, where is the year gone? Okay, let's take a little look. Cancer, what do they need to know? What is their overarching energy for the month? Okay, so Cancer, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is that sign of keeping on, keeping on, keep working on things. You know, whatever you're working on, just keep going with it and really like take time to recognize how far you've come and what you have achieved already and know that you are going in the right direction and that you will achieve great success. You can see here this girl, she's sitting here, she's kind of surveying all that she's done. The eight pentacles have the cycles of the moon on, which is very relative to you, my lovely Cancers. You are ruled by the moon. Um, and some people do call you the moon sign. So it's, uh, it's really relevant for you. And it is all about you recognizing the achievements that you have already had, those things that have already gone really well. Eights are about movement. This is about moving forwards in your work, in your environment, in whatever you are working on, whether it's yourself or an actual project or, you know, your own business or trying to get a promotion. Just know that success is coming. You just need to keep going. And it's it's a wonderful energy to have there. It's the energy of moving forwards, of moving positively. Okay, so let's take a look at Scorpio. Okay, my lovely Scorpios, your overarching energy is the nine of wands. So my beautiful Scorpios, this is about you finding that inner strength within you to um, achieve what you want to achieve and setting those healthy boundaries. You can see here that she's got her little boundary fence. She stood there, she's looking very stoic. She's holding that wand. She is, you know, she's determined so this is about determination for you this month being um sure in yourself and setting those healthy boundaries so that you are working on things that you want to be working on doing the things that you want to do and not being um pulled in directions from people that are maybe being a bit negative a bit um uh you know asking you to do things you don't want to do drawing you into a, a negative way of thinking, but rather setting those healthy boundaries so that you can focus on you. Okay, and let's take a look at my lovely Pisces. What is their overall energy for this month, please? My lovely Pisces, you have the Four of Wands. This is the card of celebration, the card of joy, the card of being between worlds you know it's the 1111 portal of those four ones they make that 1111 symbol of the portal it is you know 
going where you want to go and celebrating. This also represents the um, marriage or commitment in some way in relationships. So if you have a relationship that you are wanting it to go to the next level, then this month is a is a good month to start looking into that and possibly, you know, there may be a few marriage proposals there as well. So my lovely Scorpio, um, Pisces, sorry, um, you have that energy of celebration and joy. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So my lovely water signs, what do they need to know? Okay. Nice. Makes a lot of sense. You're going, what does? <laughs> what does, Nikki? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, nice. Just gonna move these cards up so I've got some space. This is a very small table. Water signs, January 2022. What do they need to know, please? There's definitely some love going on here. Definitely some love going on. Oof. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I am not going to do reversals because I'm not feeling it and only one came out reversed. So I'm going to put that up the right way. Okay, so we're starting off with the Eight of Swords. So you may be coming into January feeling a little bit stuck. Eights are about movement and the Eight of Swords is the non-movement card. But just know that although you may feel stuck, you may feel like you can't see the wood for the trees, you may not be able to see the way forwards, just know that you can move forwards and you do have those answers within you. And you know really how to move forwards. So you just need to trust yourself and know that you can remove that blindfold and those binds and you can move forwards. If you look here, this girl, she's looking at herself in the mirror. In the mirror, she's all bound. She's got the blindfold on. She's stuck. But she herself is not actually stuck. So it's very much a case of having that, um, that ability to see what is in front of you that is going to help you to move forwards of trusting yourself and trusting your instincts because if you can let go and go with the flow and follow your heart's desire you will get the rewards you deserve next to that eight of swords we have the queen of cups and she is the queen of love the queen of going with the flow you know, it is very much uh, backing up what I just said about learning to trust your instincts, your intuition, tune into your intuition. It will tell you what you need to do in order to gain that success that you are chasing. And boy, can you get that success, whether it's in love or in work, you know, you will know what you've come to this reading looking for. But um, some of you, it is definitely about love. And Pisces, I think that's you because you had that Four of Wands card there. Because next to that, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the card of soulmates, the card of union, the card of joining together. Twos are about choices. And this is choosing, choosing to fill your cup back up, choosing to join with another and take that support and that love and really be in that, that moment of supported, joyous, loving relationships. It's, new, it's a new union, a new, a new love coming in. Soulmates aren't always to do with um, romantic love. 
they can be, you know, a soulmate can be a friend, it can be a family member, it's just somebody that you have traveled this path with before and it has that soul connection with you. But you will know with that Queen of Cups energy there to use your intuition to know how that affects you and who that is and what that is that's coming in. But just know that your cups are being filled up and that love is there to support you. And that's a gorgeous energy to have. Underneath the Eight of Swords, we then have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the card of spiritual um, ascension. You know, it's so if you're feeling stuck, like I say, take time to go within, to meditate, to, to understand yourself, to know what it is you truly, truly want and know that you can ascend. It's, you know, keep your spiritual practices up, keep up with that sense of connectivity you are my water signs you are the most um spiritual of the signs and this is the time for you to to really get that spiritual practice going so that you are you are giving yourself the chance to to receive all that you need in order to move forwards in order to unstick yourself so yeah it's it's a gorgeous energy it's an energy of um really trusting yourself that we have here and really loving yourself and feeling the love coming in and as as i say that i look at the next card which is the lovers now the lovers used to be called the choice it is about choosing with love it's for some of you this is a new love coming in with that two of cups there and the four of wands for my lovely Pisces this is a big love connection going on for some of you for some of you this is about loving yourself choosing yourself choosing with your heart choosing what it is you want deep down in your soul and going within keeping your spiritual practice up taking that that journey of ascension will help you to develop that. And funnily enough, that's what my new programs are all about. And I am a Cancer, so this is a really lovely sign for me. Um, you know, it is, it is all about that trusting yourself, the way back to you. That's what's important here. And know that some inspiration is coming as well. We have the Ace of Swords here. Aces are beginnings. The Ace of Swords is that whoosh into the crown chakra, that lighting you up. And you've got these on the same row here with the lovers in the middle. And the, this is about you getting that inspiration from above, you know, the, your higher self, your connectivity is very important. Listening to the information that comes in in order to give you that spark, in order to give you that way forwards and, um, you know, to give you the knowledge that you need in order to be successful, whether that's in love or in work, with money, whatever you are looking for your success in, know that you can achieve it this month. We then have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is the card of the gift. Pentacles are earth energy. It's all to do with work, with money, with grounding, with building and developing and growing things. And, you know, the, the gift is a beautiful card to have here. So you, some of you may be ex expecting a, um, a payoff for something. You can expect to start getting that money coming in. You may get a, um, a sudden windfall, but there is, there is financial success around here as well as success in other things. Just expect some form of gift coming in, but you've got to be open to receiving. It's the card of giving and receiving. You can see one hand is giving, one hand is there receiving. So make sure your hands are open, my lovely uh, water signs. Make sure that you are in the, um, in the energy of receiving because you are due to receive, okay? We then have the Emperor. Now this goes very much with the Cancer's working energy. Um, this is the 
uh, the strategist, the, the king of the deck, you know, he is in charge, he's the leader, he is very much the entrepreneur of the deck. So this is about you having those strategies in place, having your um, your head screwed on. And Scorpio, this goes for you as well with that nine of wands, really having those strategi strategies in place to have that strength to do what you want, to set those boundaries, to keep everything in flow. And also Pisces, even if it is all to do with love, just know that um, that it's very, it's still a very dynamic energy for you. And if you are looking at putting love into your work, into what you're doing and you're building and you're creating and you're developing, know that you have the skills within. It is the card of the, the entrepreneur, the person who can achieve, the leader. Be the leader here. Know that you have what you need in order to move yourself forward successfully. This is a very success orientated reading here. It is all about the success in whatever area of your, your life that you are wanting success in right now. And then the final card that we have here is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is, you know, it's that youthful energy that pages bring. They're also messengers that come in to tell you what it is that you need. And the Page of Pentacles, like I say, Pentacles are earth energy. They're about building, creating, developing something, about getting the financial rewards, getting into the 3D what it is that you want. And the Page of Pentacles is there to remind you to hone your skills, to hone your craft, to work on you, to work on what you need to develop within you in order to gain your success, whether that's in work or in money or in um, love, relationships, whatever that is, it's about you honing those skills and really, you know, becoming the master of your craft and getting those rewards coming in as a result. And it's it's just a gorgeous energy. So remember, Cancer, you had that Eight of Pentacles, which is the card of keep on keeping on, keep, keep knocking out those pentacles, recognize how far you've come, recognize your successes to date, and really keep moving forwards. Scorpio with that nine of wands, set those healthy boundaries. Know that you have that strength within you to achieve whatever you want to achieve. And you just keep working on those skills and that success will come in whatever area of your life you want that success. And Pisces with that four of wands, you know that celebration is there. You know the joy is there. You know the love is there. And you know that you have your your portal, your opening, your chance to move from one realm to the next, your chance to be connected with the higher self, the, um, you know, that Hierophant card, keep that spiritual practice going, allow that love to come in, choose with your heart, let the connectivity, all of you, let that connectivity of that two of cups come in and that support and that energy of love and going with the flow with that queen of, of cups there as well. Very much representative of all three of you water signs. You know, um, that feminine side, that intuitive side. Trust yourself, my beautiful water signs, and you will achieve great things. And that is amazing to see and I'm really really happy with this reading for you all and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to delve deeper you can always contact me for a private reading. The link to my website is in the description box below. If you want to work deeper with me on the way back to you then um, you can look at that package on my website as well when it's up and running. It's not actually live yet my new website but um, but you can still go on there um, in probably just a few days time and see what's what's going on with that. But um, until next time, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful January. Happy New Year to you all. I wish you every success throughout 2022. Until next time.
Namaste.